Ethan says, I created a form, so Microsoft Forms questions, with 20 questions. When I send it for responses, there are only six questions visible. Then the submit button. Is there any fix for this? Hmm. I don't know if it's a fix. Might be just the way you've designed the form. And maybe you've included something like branching. So oh, well, there's you've conditional got logic. Yeah. If you yeah. if you created a instead of the question and you go down and create a section, you'll have your first section and then you'll move to a new section and then you might have a section that's about like if we were doing one as a trainer, it's this is everything to do with the instructor. And then the next page you can move from page to page by doing a section. So <clears throat> it might be it might have that. See, that's what throws me off is that there's a submit button because if it's a multi-page survey so it's if it's uh, longer than what displays on one page it should have a next page not a submit yeah, not a submit true so it's I, that's my first thought was also it's got to be branching yeah. yeah 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 unless i mean there are i'm just thinking in terms of if it's branching, then it's if you choose, then you go somewhere else. But if mm -hmm. it's the fellow that's created, you would think that they would know whether they've created branching off, um, off the off the question. Right. Uh, also, the way the question is posed, you don't really know if it's six fields that are only visible in the form. Maybe it's six responses mm -hmm. or six columns in the answers that are showing up in the. Uh, the back end data collector or Excel, and maybe people are aborting the form, only six questions in. But my my first instinct is to think that there's branching, conditional logic mm -hmm. applied to question, questions, excuse me. Uh, you know, Christy, you're saying that uh, mm. it could be sections that makes total sense. Uh, I wonder, would would you have the ability to, to uh, hide questions and maybe not have them published and maybe that's what they're experiencing? I've hidden the questions. No. Yes. Um, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> no, no. Not what you meant. Oh, I'm sorry. Not. Um, though there's not. I mean, you can do you can do restrictions, but that's like if it's greater than or less than, that's a new feature that's come in. Um, so if it hits a particular if you know uh, number then you get something like you can do a restriction on a field but that's not like it's got to be between this or between that that wouldn't drop it off for you the only thing i could think of is if you're creating the creating the form if you like if you were creating the form again try not to then do any of the branching or sectioning or is it still coming up is it just that question and is everyone seeing that when they get in there because then it's like i haven't i can't say i have ever seen a corrupt form like i've never seen a form that's I, i've done a i do a lot of them i do them pretty much on a nearly weekly basis and i have never mm -hmm. seen one that's dropped it off so i you know i think norm it's you know you could be right is you know that branching side because if it's branching and they don't hit the right answer, it wouldn't branch off to anything else. No. Well, if it hits the no and then why to branch, but then it comes down to are they the creator? And if they are, they would know. I would think that there was branching. Hmm. Or they've accidentally chosen branching. They've got files and linked them up and they're not realising what branching does and thinking it's like a section instead. Yeah. Like you, I, I just in looking at a couple of my forums, I mean, there's no way to hide a question. So if there's a no, draft questions you want it to appear, so that it's not that yeah. mature of a product that has that. Yeah. Um, and so if you've got 20 questions there, if if you're looking at, you're saying if if the if the question is um, that Ethan's asking if if you know looking at the completed form that he's actually sending out to people to complete that is only showing six and there's no way to move to another page like mm. that's really bizarre it is really bizarre it really is i mean apart from shuffling questions that we kind of move them around mm. there's really nothing else that the the forms itself is not i mean there's a lot of great features but it, yes. it's not that complex and it's not like you could even go these questions are for internal and these questions for an external party kind of thing. And only the internal, because even something like if you put a question in that you can load a document or a picture or a receipt or whatever to, you know, you got to do an upload, you can only do them internally. You can't even provide 
provide it to an external party. So it wouldn't even drop that question off, if you know what I mean. Um, I can't see why it would do that, <clears throat> and I haven't seen it. Um, you know, something to put in a report, do some feedback on. Yeah, I mean, it's because uh, really you have, if you look at, for folks that aren't as familiar with forums, I mean, you, you create the form, the, the, form, the question style, um, you know, uh, all the, the various options in there. Then you can shuffle the options. If it's a single select or multi-select, you can have a drop down, you can add a subtitle, and you can add branching. I mean, that's that's really it. And so it won't show you the branching options if you've not answered the question the 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 parent question uh with the correct response to to give you that branch so yeah. that that's the only logical thing if if there is no branching and you're missing the 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 questions if it's not visible uh i hate to say it that is possibly a support call mm. yeah. Mm. yeah yeah i think i think so there's nothing there's nothing else in there i mean no. what about a, what it isn't it, it does forms have a concept of a publish button? So you have a, pu a major version and then you can make changes. No, then, no, okay. none of that. No, none of that. It's it's a, um, you know, collecting of responses or a collaborate and edit basically link. You can yeah, you can yeah. do or duplication link so you can copy right. it. But there's there's nothing to kind of, you know, do those kind of limitations at all. Mm -hmm. It's either in or it's out. And yeah. half the time, it's more it's in and you go oh i really shouldn't have that in there i haven't done it correctly or i didn't put the the branching on it you it's know, always a lot live they go it's yeah, live so yeah. you edit it it's, yeah, it's live yeah. it's it, that's okay. it yeah. yeah yeah no so there's there is none of that so i would say yes either a support <laughs> a support ticket or check your branching because there's really nothing else that would do that or define it to do that I mean, the flip Have of it is, is it's a power. Is it a power going into the power space? Is it forms, mm. just generic forms? Or are we actually talking the dynamics going into the, the you know, the more the power form side of it? You know, uh, that's a whole nother topic. I yeah, but that don't wouldn't know. change I don't live the in that form. Space. It wouldn't change the form, though, This the, the basic form. It, that would just be changing the input to the form or the sharing of the information once completed. Yeah. And yeah. it would still be the same issue. Now, I, I, yeah, your customer voice side of it, you know, if you're going into the Dynamics customer voice, the forms pro, that's a whole nother space. And, you know, there could be something there. And I'm not familiar with that space. Well, there's one other option. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> tried deleting it and recreating it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be and that really would probably would tell you. I would go and I, I would go log into forms uh, incognito um, just to make sure there's not something else that's going on there. Log into forms, go through that process, recreate it. If you're seeing the same behavior, yep. then something's going on. La last no, thing that yeah. I would definitely check is the Excel file associated with the responses. If you had like the 20 questions listed as columns. That's a good indicator that you're probably having branching happening. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, if you recreate the form with exactly the same name, it will ask you, do you, we've used this sort of form before. Do you want to recreate with these questions? Cause it'll throw up all of the questions. Yeah. Um, have a look and see oh. what it does because you know, that kind of, um, it's sort of like a graph back end thing where you type in and it goes, oh, would you like to use all of these questions and question answers? Yeah. And it will just drop it all in for you again and just see what it does when it drops in. Is it showing up? Like what's it actually showing up on the recreation and um, see if it's doing the same thing with recreation? I, Yeah, that would help too. That, that's a really handy feature I didn't know existed. And so when you yeah, think of like yeah, educators fabulous. or people running quizzes, repeated yeah. quizzes all the time, what a handy feature. Yeah. Yep. And not only that, but if you type in whatever it is that you want, so for example, say you're doing a leave request form and it's not, you haven't even created it before, by the way, Norm. So you create leave request form, you go enter, and it goes, these are the standard type questions that you could put into a leave request form. Would you like to use these? And it's got a, you know, show me more button as well, often on some of them. And you can start to see all the questions. You can pick and choose which one you want or just drop them all in. And it creates the form for you without you having to even look at the question 
questions, which is which can be pretty cool because sometimes people won't know how to get good qualitative or quantitative questions in yes. that are actually not going to be um, leading people to. So it can be some good suggestions from the analytics around not being led. Yeah. <clears throat> Agreed. Bias, all that fun stuff. <laughs>